Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with another out of the park game in my out of the park season. Quick recap this is the 95 White Sox in out of the park. We already played the 1994 season. We went to game seven of the World Series against the Houston Astros, but we lost that series ultimately to the Astros, and we are now in the 1995 season, and I uh, put up a an opening day video for 1995, but um, just a quick recap here, we are right now just after the All-Star break, and we are 48 and 38, 10 games over 500, and we're on a pace to win 90 games. Last year, when we went to the World Series, we won 89 games. So we're on a pace to be one game better uh, than we were last year. But if you look at the standings, um, you can see that we're in third place and we are eight games out of the Central Division lead. And we are down here in the wild card. We are six games out of the wild card. Uh, but the good news is right now, after the All-Star break, we are playing the Milwaukee Brewers, who are the worst team in our division. And if we go back to team schedule, you can see that we have... Um, I'll be moving myself around here. Um, we have uh, won seven in a row after losing to Kansas City. So we... We started July off splitting against Kansas City and then uh, winning six straight, two against the Yankees, and then four against the Orioles. So uh, we are now trying to go forward from there. Uh, I don't know, six games, you know, like I said, let's look at that again. Um, let's look at the standings again. Uh, we're eight games back of Cleveland. That's going to be tough. Um, and we're six games out here and we're behind three teams. And, uh, these three teams, uh, I, I think we could catch the Yankees. They seem to be faltering a little bit. Maybe even the Royals will, I don't know. But the Red Sox, it's going to be tough to catch the Red Sox because they are winning at a 625 clip right now. So uh, that's where we are with that. But anyway, I am going to get on and uh, start playing this game against the Brewers. Now, um, full disclosure here, I am, as, the, as you're watching this video, this season may be over because I am playing a ton of games. I love this game. I've said before, I love Out of the Park. I play it a lot, and the season may be almost over or over as you're watching this video, but uh, I will certainly do an update at the end of this season and then going into next season. But we're going to get on with the game right now. And, uh, huh. yeah, we got Alvarez pitching. Everybody, and another great thing about this game is everybody is fresh. Everybody is you know, that, that we have is uninjured, we're ready to go. So let's get on with the game. And we are, let's see, we got Lance Johnson up. And we're batting against Mike Mims. And I think Mike Mims was real. As I've said before, out of the park, they do have a tendency or at least in some of the settings you can do, and I think probably in the setting I've got it on, they do have a tendency to um, make up players. And, uh, and also players will perform differently. Theoretically, they can perform differently than they did in real life. And uh, we just got a leadoff double there, which is nice. And now we got um, Ryan Maloney is up, and he is hitting 192 on the season. But he started off horrible. He was at one point hitting like 088. So 
He's come a long way. He moves the runner over to third. And we got a runner at third with Big Frank up. And Big Frank strikes out. Thanks, Frank. And then uh, Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. You got him under. You got to believe that he's going to retire pretty soon. He's old in this season because this is the 1995 season, and the real players are the actual age they would have been in that particular season. So uh, he knocked in a run, and we have Ryan or um, uh, uh, Ventura. Up. And he walks, so Darren Jackson is up. And Darren Jackson is going to hit one to deep. No, medium center. Let's call it medium center. Um, now, the stadiums, I, I'm gonna, I haven't really discussed this, but the stadiums I'm using are the current stadiums. Um, and the images are of the current stadiums or the stadiums from like a year or two ago. Uh, even though this is 1995, and uh, you know the uh, and Miller Park looked probably a little different than this uh, back in 1995, and possibly the White Sox Park looked a little different. I don't know, but um, you know that's how it is. But that's the way it is because I don't know about one thing I have not been able to master is getting. Um, or to some degree I have, but I always forget how to do it, is to get the stadium, the era stadiums, for the correct um, era. Um, you know, so we're not doing that. Mike Mims pitching against Fermin with one down. We're, we got a one nothing lead here, by the way, here in the second. And Fermin going down the line. Fermin is another guy. He has improved dramatically over the course of the season. Started off the season, he was like a 240, 250 hitter. Now he's hitting in the 280s for us. We got Karkovice up. Karkovice with seven home runs on the year, um, but hitting 187. He was never really a good batter, though. And that is a deep fly out. No, it's a double. It's a d <laughs> He hit a double. Nice. I thought the guy got that. I thought the outfielder had that ball. But anyway... He didn't, and Karkovice doubles in our second run, and now we've got Lance Johnson up against Mims, Mr. Mims. And that's going to be a base hit into the gap, shopping at the gap for Johnson. And he drives in our third run, and we're taking Mims apart here. And uh, here's Maloney. Malone, the much improved over the course of the season, Maloney, but he strikes out there. And that brings up Fr Big Frank. Come on, Big Frank. You can knock in another run here. Maybe two with a homer. All right, he knocks in another run. So it, that'll sh that should give us a 4 nothing lead. <clears throat> and it's double. Double by Frankie. The big hurt put a big hurt on Mims. And Mims is still out there. The manager is still allowing him to pitch. And we got Franco up against him. And Franco strikes out. So that's going to be the side, but we're going to the bottom of the second with a 4 nothing lead. Elver, as you got to believe, is going to get some innings out of this because now he's we're giving him a lot of rope to work with offensively with the run production that we're getting. And uh, he's going up against Greg Vaughn, the young Greg Vaughn in 1995. And he strikes out, and that brings up Kevin Elka Seitzer. Remember Kevin Seitz here. And he is out. And again, you and also, I want to just point out, out of the park, I talk about it all the time, uh, the GMs in out of the park, in the out of the park world, make their own deals. So you might find a guy like, like Kevin Seitzer, I th thought maybe was on Kansas City in real life in 95. So you may find people that are on other teams, the teams they shouldn't be on. Um like we have Ben McDonald because my GM went out and got me Ben McDonald. And that's going to be another that's a base hit. So now what we're up again and 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 we're killing Mims again. Man. And he's out there just taking it. He's taking it. All right. So you got Nunnally up and this is after the All-Star break. So you know, they don't really need to be doing this, but that's a pop out. 
So there's one down, runners are at the corners, and Felix Fermin is at the plate. And Felix Fermin is going to hit into a double play and end the inning. Man, I would have loved one more run there. <coughs> but then again, I mean, you know, I'm a little biased. Uh, Alvarez pitching against Turner Ward. Turner Ward was real, and he was really on Milwaukee, I think. So that's one down. And uh, John Jaha, who was real and was really on Milwaukee. And that's going to be a throwout. We got him. Yeah, we got Alvarez is on cruise control here. He has a 380 earned run average for the year and an 8 and 6 record and he's trying to extend that to 9 and 6. But he walks a guy there. He did he has had a problem with walks this season. And that brings up Chris Morgan. Now Chris Morgan, if you watch my 94 season, Chris Morgan, he's a made up player. And he was on our team last year. And we traded him to Milwaukee. Now, that's I'm not that upset about that cuz the trade-off was we had Lance Johnson in our system, and uh, we brought him up. So that's probably why we traded him. And there's a strikeout. So Karkovice going down on strikes. Again, not the greatest of hitters. Lance Johnson. Now, one and one problem we're going to have in coming years, if I keep managing the White Sox every season, and that's not a given. Because I want my record to be good. And we also have a very lowly rated um, farm system. And part of that is that we don't have any good catchers. So, um, you know, it's Karkovice or bust. Even the backup now, we've got a guy named John Weaver, I think his name is, or Jim Weaver. I don't know who Jim Weaver was. I don't know if he really existed or not. Leave it in the comments if you happen to know. But... The problem with Jim Weaver, and that is going to be another... That's a home run for Frank Thomas, belts a two-run jack. I'm sitting here and telling you stories, and we're killing the Brewers, which is really good. But, <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we'll extend this to eight games in a row, I think. Um, because it's 6 nothing right now, and Julio down by the schoolyard. Franco is at the plate. And... Um, did they take Mims out yet? I mean, because, man, that poor guy, he just, just got dragged all over the place by us. He, they did. And they got Bob Scanlon in now. And Bob Scanlon, another guy who was real and who was really on the Brewers, I think, too. And, whoa! Look at this! All right, now it's not even, it's not even a game. This is not even a game. We are just killing the Brewers. Call, call the police. Call the National Guard. Call someone, because we're killing the Brewers. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I could leave Alvarez out there till his arm falls off at this point. But that may not even happen. As you can see, Alvarez is not even close to tired yet, and we're in the fourth inning. And he's just out there having a blast, and he's going to pitch to Bill Spires, who was also on Milwaukee and a real player. So they have a lot of real players. That's good to see. Dave Nilsson, again, real player, really on Milwaukee. And he's going to line it down the left field line, and that'll probably be good for a double for him. So we've got a double with one out for the Brewers. And uh, Alvarez will be dealing to Jose Valentin. Valentin, I don't know. He was a real player, but I don't know if he was ever really on the Brewers. I know he was at one time on, I want to say he was on the Red Sox. But he might have been on the Brewers in real life. Again, leave it in the comments. Leave anything in the comments you want because that helps me. And uh, we have bases loaded here against Alvarez with only one down. And Kevin Elkaseitzer up at the plate. And he walks in a run. See? Alvarez, problem with the walks, but that only makes it 8-1, and then we're going to get a fly out, <coughs> and they're going to try to score on that, and they will, and make it 8-2. It is 8-2, and we're dealing to Jaha, and Jaha scores it. So they did get a run off of Alvarez, but that's it for the damage that they did, and now we've got Nunnally.
And not only I think was a real player, but I don't know if the White Sox ever had, had him. But I think he was real. Leave it in the comments. Again, anything you want in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a lot of comments. Say, this is BS. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, if you want to say that, you can. But I don't know why you would, because I'm winning big time. And now we've got... Karkovice up again. Here he is again, hitting 220. All right, I guess he was better than that. Well, did he really go to from 187 to 228? I don't believe he could have done that, just going one for two. But anyway, he is hitting 228. Still not very good. Oh, okay, these are this. I was reading this the last time he was up, and this is like, um, you know, um, a specific. You know, thing, but this is for the season. He's hitting two, like he's hitting 500 against uh, Bob Scanlon. But do we care? I mean, at this point, really, the game is a win. I'm going to say it. I'm calling it right now. We're in the fifth. We're up eight two. Bob Scanlon. Now look at that look on his face. He's not happy, and he wouldn't be, because we are we're taking the Brewers pitching apart. And we just took it apart for another, what is that, like four home runs we've hit this game? Crazy. It's crazy, people. But, uh, you know, I love it. So it's 10-2, to two and Maloney is up. This is good. You know what's good about this is I have some bullpen guys that are terrible. They have ERAs over six, some over seven, some at almost eight. And uh, I can get those guys some time here. Uh, because, um, you know, I'm not going to pitch him in a close game for sure. Um, Chris Morgan, our our past, uh, you know, last year's center fielder. And he is out. Almost hit into a double play, but he didn't. And that brings up Bill Spires. Bill Spires and the guy that was on base stole. And so Bill Spires is still up, trying to knock him in, and he strikes out. Um, and that brings to the plate Dave Nilsson, the catcher, and he strikes out. He's going back to the back to the bench, people. All right, let's let's warm somebody up. I am going to go to the bullpen, and I'm going to get. Um, Let's see. Going to get Donnie Elliott. Look at Donnie Elliott this year. He has a um, 720 earned run average. So we are going to warm Donnie Elliott up. And we are going to bring him in when it comes time to do that. And that's a strikeout there. One down and Franco up. And Franco's going to walk. That was definitely inside. Ventura is at the plate. Robin Ventura, not Ryan Ventura, I called him last time. And as he hits into a double play and ends the inning, and we are going to bring in Elliott. He is ready, and we're going to bring him in. Let him try to work on that bad ERA of his. Because we can let him work it out with an eight-run lead. And that's going to be a slow roller that um, Guillen is just going to put in his pocket. They have a man aboard with Greg Vaughn. Up. And Greg Vaughn is going to fly out shallow to right field. One down. And uh, I don't know who that was. But whoever it was, he just flew out to center field. So, yeah. Um, Donnie Elliott loving the chance to get that ERA down. And, sh and show that I should have more trust in him in closer games. But he's got to show me that first. All right, we've got Jackson up here in the top of the seventh. 
And Jackson goes back to the wall. And that's going to be a double. Lead-off double for Darren Jackson. And up at the plate is John Nunnally. John Nunnally doing quite well for us. But he's going to pop out here. And that will make it so that Jackson can't advance. And we've got Fermin. Felix Fermin walks. Two on, one out, and Carco Weiss at the plate. And Carco Weiss is going to hit it just past the second baseman. Just out of his reach. think maybe that might have been Bill Spires. I'm not sure. But anyway, Lance Johnson. Lance Johnson is going to fly out to right. And uh, that brings up our man Maloney, the ever-improving Maloney. And he strikes out. He is a switch hitter, but he strikes out there. Whatever kind of hitter he is, he was out. So Donnie Elliott's going back out to the mound. ERA now on the drop. It's a 675. And he forces a pop out to third base. And now we have um, Robbie Thompson up. Now Robbie Thompson was on the Giants. I don't think he was ever on the Brewers. And he might have been the second baseman. And now you got Chris Morgan, the center fielder, who was on our White Sox last year. And he strikes out. Goes back to the bench. And uh, Elliott is loving life here. Top of the eighth for us. Um, but I'm going to maybe get another guy up. Well, anyway, we will we'll let this play out this inning, or at least the first few batters. Franco is up, man aboard. He strikes out, though. There's one down with a man aboard, and Ventura up. And Ventura's going to lace. No, no, a great play in center field gets Ventura. And now Darren Jackson is up. And Darren Jackson is going to hit one. He's going to get a good hit here, but it's a one-base advance. Runners at first and second with two down, and Nunnally is the batter, and he is going to ground out to second base. So let me take a look at Elliott. Let's see where his um, power bar is. Yeah, we're going to need – I'm going to warm somebody up, and uh, again, probably somebody who's having a bad year. Um, Hernandez is having a bad year, but – He's also a, uh, you know what, we're going to warm Ossenmacher up. Ossenmacher, let's take a look at him if we can. This year, Ossenmacher has a 6 ERA, so yeah, he's having a bad year too. So we'll get him warming up, and, um, and Elliot is going to go back at it here, having allowed no runs, and he strikes out the first batter he faces. And now he's facing his second batter of the inning. And that's going to be an out. Love, Elliot. He is pitching great now. He's saying, hey, I'm not really that 6'11 earned run average guy. I'm actually better than that. And we will see. But that's going to be a pop, a very deep pop out to second base. And Elliot gets through the inning. And I almost want to send him out there again, but really I want to see the true Elliot. And he's right now gassed. And when the pitchers are gassed, they don't get anybody out, and it doesn't matter who they are. Roger Clemens gassed won't get anybody out in this game. So um, there's a ground out to short. One down, and Carco Vice. Now the worst thing that's going to happen after all these batters is that... Um, Austin Mocker will, it'll say that he's tiring out in the bullpen warming up. And that's fine. I'll bring him in tiring either. I, you know, I don't care. And we got, we, no, we did not beat it out. I thought we beat that out. All right. So, yeah, now we're going to go to the bullpen, see where he is. Well, he's ready. He's not tiring or anything. We'll bring in Austin Mocker. So we'll see if Austin Mocker can improve his lot in life. Doesn't really matter. He's got a lot of experimenting he can do out there. He can work on new pitches, whatever he wants. And if the leadoff guy gets on with a single. But we got an eight-run lead here in the ninth inning. So. 
Oh, another a double down the line. Ossenmacher. Ossenmacher might be one of those guys that, hey, you know what? That ERA you saw for me is my real ERA. Um, it's 10-2, but they've got runners at second and third, and his six ERA is about to balloon. And uh, it does. There, there's a double into the gap. It's a good thing I got runs to play with because I'd really be mad right now. But, I, you know, and pretty soon I'm going to get somebody up because um, we do have to kind of win this game. And I'm not going to not win a game that I was about to win. So there's one out. Let's see if Austin Marker can handle this. Oh, he gets a pass ball. Pass ball or a wild pitch, whatever it was. And that's going to be an out, so yeah. All right, all right. You got two down, and you are ahead by five. So let's see if we can do this. I think so, yeah. All right, so he did. He managed to uh, handle that expertly. Not really, but um, well enough. And you can see we um, win the game 10-5. to 5. Here's the game story. Uh, Lance Johnson. Um, let's see. He was. Uh, he went four for six with a home run and three doubles. That's a pretty good day, wouldn't you say? So here's the uh, batting average or the uh, box score for the batters. See, Thomas is hitting 340 on the year. That's really great. Um. And you got Alvarez with the win. He went five, gave up two runs. Elliott went three, and he gave up no runs and lowered his ERA to six. Next time he pitches, if he pitches well, he'll go below six. He'll be in the fives. But Ossenmacher, no. Ossenmacher pitched an inning, gave up three runs. So that brings us to leave the game. <coughs> And uh, Lance Johnson, four for six. Yeah, all right. So we'll finish the day, and we are still eight back. But we're 11 over 500. And this is something else I also wanted to take a quick look at. Um, look at available jobs. You might have seen this before. But anyway, uh, at the start of the season, my reputation was still poor. I came off a season where I took a team to seven games in the World Series, and I had a poor reputation. And only one team would have hired me, a major league team would have hired me, and that was the Phillies. Now the Phillies are joined by the Twins, the Orioles, the Giants, and the Giants as teams that would hire me right now. Most of those teams are doing well. The Orioles are a little under 500. they They're not that great. Um, but... You know, right now I'm on the White Sox, so it doesn't matter. But uh, my reputation improved from poor to decent. I'm decent. Now let's take a look at my um, statistics. Um, let's take a look at the history. I'm 138 and 111 in the one and one point something, see, one and a half seasons I've managed. 554 winning percentage, and I'm decent. So this is a tough game. But anyway, just wanted to point all that stuff out to you. But that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I will be...